But first tonight, the regular and special sessions are over, but with plenty left undone, work is still very much underway at the Capitol. Three Minnesota senators are calling on the U.S. Attorney General, William Barr, and the U.S. Department of Justice to open what they're calling a practice or pattern investigation into the Minneapolis Police Department and the department's response after the death of George Floyd with the protesting and the riots. Among them, Senator Scott Newman, who is from Hutchinson, who's a retired attorney and Hennepin County Sheriff's Deputy. Also, Rochester Senator Dave Senjum signing that letter. Senator Senjum joining me now from St. Paul. And before we even get to that letter, Dave, let's uh, first start with what you're doing in St. Paul. You, uh, we figured that the special session was over, but the work isn't done. So go ahead and explain what's going on today. No, uh, uh, myself and uh, Representative Murphy from Hermantown, uh, who's the chair of the House uh, Bonding Committee, and I, uh, along with staff, are working to put together, uh, or actually put together to finish, if you will, a bonding bill that uh, we have uh, both started uh, respectively with uh, some weeks ago. Uh, what we're doing now is trying to make two bills into one bill, uh, a House bill and a Senate bill. We're trying to marry them up. Uh, it's not easy because there's lots of difference both in projects and uh, the amount of money dedicated for certain projects. But a lot of folks would say, Senator, why even do that kind of work since the regular session is over, the special session wrapped up on Saturday, there wasn't an agreement when it comes to the bonding bill, so why are you working on it? You have hopes for something. Well, no, I think, uh, I think that there's going to be a special session once again, uh, if not before July 12th, when the governor would have to come back if he intends to continue his emergency power. But I think uh, there's some reason to believe that uh, we may even come back before the 4th of July. And it's always been, if we can agree on something, let's go forward and finish it. And uh, I'm going to believe that we're going to be able to do that with a bond. Always the optimist. I appreciate that. Uh, yeah. Let's... Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about the practice or pattern investigation sure. that you and the other two senators are calling on the Justice Department to look into. Now, the Department of Justice has the resources and experience, you say in this letter, to conduct a fair, thorough investigation on behalf of the city and the state of Minnesota. So does that say you don't believe that that could happen with our Minnesota resources? Uh, maybe not necessarily, but I think we do believe, and that's speaking on behalf of Senator Newman, Senator, Senator Ingerbitson, and a couple of other people in the caucus that didn't uh, choose to sign on uh, for no apparent reason. But uh, we, I think we believe that they're bringing in an, an outside group, and, and the Department of Justice in particular, uh, who has the experience in doing these kind of things, uh, who is way outside, if you will, I believe the politics of Minnesota, that can come in and take a, a, a deep look at the Minneapolis Police Department, uh, everything related to that police department, including city governance, and uh, try to un, uh, unfold, if you will, and understand uh, why, in fact, that particular department, from the standpoint of uh, the issues that we are all seeing and talking about right now, why the problems seem to exist in that department that are unlike problems in any other police department in Minnesota. Okay, now the, the Department of Human Rights in Minnesota has been charged with doing its own investigation on this, but you don't think that they can be unbiased? I think when you're, when you're involved in state government, as we are, there's always going to be some bias. Uh, it's just the way it is. And uh, it's, it's not to say people are bad or anything like that. I think it's, there's just an underlying uh, kind of political bias which exists wherever you are in state government, Republican or Democrat. Uh, but bringing in the Department of Justice who has done these, who we believe is, is more impartial, maybe more thorough, and which in fact, uh, this, is, this is per a statutory uh, uh, element within the federal government. They, they, there's a statute set up side within federal government, federal law to do this in a very prescribed sort of way. It can, in fact, involve into a consent decree, which, in fact, could involve a, uh, uh, a federal judge actually running the Minneapolis uh, Police Department for, for a period of time that, uh, that it would take to, again, to reach uh, an understanding that uh, the solution had, uh, was, was about them. And, in fact, everything was, 
everything was back to at least where you'd want it to be. Dave, uh, help me understand, though, what is it that, that this investigation will really look into? And let's say the Justice Department does uh, take on this investigation and a federal judge does look at it. What is it that they're going to be looking for specifically? They will go in and they will look at the history of Minneapolis Police Department, perhaps, who knows, 10 years, whatever they choose to do. Uh, they will look at uh, the record with respect to arrests, how those arrests were, uh, were handled, their management. They will probably have uh, some hearings with the members of the public that have uh, uh, experienced uh, issues with the Minneapolis Police Department. They will listen to them. Uh, they will make some judgments there. They will make uh, certainly interviews with the Minneapolis Police Department. Uh, my hope would be with the uh, mayor and city council members, both past and present of the city of Minneapolis and uh, make some judgments there. And, and based on that and perhaps a, a number of other things, they will hopefully uh, begin to understand and put to paper uh, recommended solutions for uh, making some changes in that department. And sometimes- We believe from the outside looking in, there's a cultural issue within that department that uh, is much different than many other police departments uh, in Minnesota. Again, from the standpoint of, uh, of the whole racial injustice.